All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for a few real people out there just like you and just like me. So a um, little housekeeping business here. Want to showcase this on the show today. This is Christian Gratz, his album 1981. The only problem I have with this album, Christian, is should have been more music. Seven amazing songs. If you lived through 1981, you're going to hear things on this record that will remind you of certain songs from 1981, certain styles, um, just certain songs in general. Uh, but they're all original songs, and uh, I think they're all original songs, and they're really good. So if you want some good music to listen to, and you know, you're not going to hear this on the radio, unfortunately, you really need to check this out. Um, I found out about Christian through another band that I have showcased on the show called Page 99, which uh, they're behind me on that little poorly made display there. But anyway, I would check this out. Um, 1981, one of the great years in music. And yes, it is more yacht rock. So, you know, I just have to use that terminology because I guess people don't understand, you know, contemporary or AOR or as much as I think it, the term kind of does justice to it, you know, not all of us have a yacht and not all of us have a stereo system blaring when we're uh, cruising on our yacht in the middle of the ocean. This is just good music you can listen to at home. It's really good ear candy. Headphones are probably um, recommended for this album. Um, I want to talk about Def Leppard though. Def Leppard. Um, just an amazing new song uh, off their forthcoming album. The song is called Kick. And it really, this really surprised me because as much as I know this band has some gas in the tank creatively still, um, this thing will just boomerang you back in time to a better period, obviously, 1987 maybe. Although there's a lot of 70s in this, but when you think it through, Def Leppard always had a lot of 70s in what they were doing. It's just you didn't realize it till later on. And you're like, oh, yeah, they're trying to be like David Bowie here. or They're trying to be like T-Rex over there or Mock the Hoople, um, you know, Ian Hunter, all of that stuff. And these guys really succeed. I mean, Joe Elliott, he's got this other band called The Down and Outs, which you should really check out if you haven't heard it. Um, because he just goes full into that. He doesn't like hold back or try to recreate a Def Leppard on his own. The down and outs are actually very much like a late seventies band that is doing glam based rock and it's fantastic. Now, what makes Kick so good? Well, um, great lyrics, great hand claps, great choruses. It's catchy. Um, it's up tempo and it's fun. It's everything that the radio isn't today. Now, <laughs> just a little suggestion for you radio programmers out there. What you could do, right, is you could play like pour some sugar on me. And then after that, you could play this new song called Kick. You could call it like yesterday and today with Def Leppard. You could do that and people might not change the station. And then coming out of the song, back selling, talking about the new song, say, hey, well, guess what? These guys have a brand new album coming out. And, you know, in the spirit of T-Rex, the album is called Diamond Star Halos, which I think is awesome because that's a key lyric in Get It On. But um, yeah, you could, you could do that and people probably wouldn't change the station. Now, I know these radio stations are all pre-programmed. Even <laughs> what the DJs say these days is so scripted. Like they do public service announcements, celebrity gossip. You know, um, John Tesh has this thing where he talks about um, healthy living in between each song where it's just dropped in there. And, you know, songs for intelligence or intelligence for life or whatever it's called. And you're like, okay, shouldn't this be like a talk show or something? You can cram it into like an hour 
and just put it on the middle of the night or something. But hey, people, they just can't, they just can't listen to music anymore. They need to be entertained because we all have really short attention spans thanks to social media and probably TikTok being the worst offender. Um, this album is coming out on May 27th. And certainly this will give Def Leppard a kick, uh, pun intended, uh, into this stadium tour where I truly believe they should be the headlining band. I mean, Motley Crue, I'm, we're, I'm just worried about Vince Neil. Is he going to make it? <laughs> we don't know. But I'm pretty sure the boys from Def Leppard are fine. This is a real cohesive band. They seem to like each other. Um, Vivian Campbell still out there playing guitar. One of the great unheralded, somewhat unheralded guitarists uh, in the uh, rock era just um, hangs around with some really great people before Def Leppard. And uh, he's got a great gig with Def Leppard. And, uh, you know, I'm praying for good health for him because I know he's been through a lot. And this band, I think, is going to be just a juggernaut out on tour. And this new material will go really well, I'm sure, with their classic songs. Now, I know people are going to run to the concession stands when they hear Kick, or they're going to go, huh, that's not Animal. Uh, that's not Armageddon it. Um, how about Let's Get Rocked? You know, hey, guys, play a hit song. And I'm going to be thinking to myself, you know what's cool? Def Leppard has got really good new material out there. And yeah, radio is most likely going to just ignore this here in the States. Maybe in the UK, they'll give this a spin. But this is it got like 300,000 views already. Just came out like two days ago. 300K on YouTube. Not sure how much on Spotify. But if you even kind of like Def Leppard, there's no reason not to like this song. It's just kind of silly that people would ignore it. And yeah, I'm always on a crusade. That's what I do because very few people complain about this stuff. And then, you know, I get messages back like, Dave, just give it up, dude. Just knock it off. Stop complaining about stuff. We have Spotify. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Until somebody takes their music off of Spotify uh, for political reasons or something. Yeah, we have Spotify, sure. Um, and YouTube and Apple Music and yada, yada, yada. But we don't have radio. We don't have radio. And it's a shame because this is a rock song. It's an up-tempo rock song. It's way too happy for mainstream rock. We know that. Uh, it's too well-produced for mainstream rock. So where is it going to go, right? Well, if you're a classic rock station and you're playing like old Pearl Jam, move the old Pearl Jam out of your playlist and move the new Def Leppard kick into your playlist. And I think your radio station will be fine. I think people will say, hey, there's a real classic rock band there. And obviously, you've got uh, Joe Elliott paying tribute to the music that he loves, um, just like his other band, The Down and Outs, which you should go listen to when you have an opportunity. Um, this is going to be a big album, I think, for these guys. I think this one will rekindle interest in Def Leppard in a way that I think is very unique to where they are career-wise. I don't think you're going to see this much of a boost, even for Journey, who's got a new album coming out. I have a feeling this Def Leppard is going to help Def Leppard out more than the new Journey is going to help Journey out. Because they're just, every time you hear a review about Journey, it's like, okay, they played Don't Stop Believing as their third song. And they played this new song that nobody knows, but has a keyboard intro that kind of sounds like Don't Stop Believing." That was smart because maybe it fooled some people. Um, Kick sounds like a classic Def Leppard song, but it's a new song and it sounds new. It sounds fresh. So anyway, um, the album comes out May 27th, Diamond Star Halos, Joe Elliott and company sounding amazing. And one more time for my buddy, uh, Christian Gratz, in case you missed this at the beginning, 1981, seven amazing songs, and you can check out his other album called 1979 and his work with the band Page 99, another one of my favorite yacht rock cruising bands. Um, again, it's just a term, doesn't mean really anything, it's just really good music and it's not 
overly loud and obnoxious. So you can go and listen to that anytime you want. And nobody's going to question your um, musical acumen. I won't think any less of you if you have a huge yacht rock collection. In fact, I will respect you even more. So there you have it, folks. Def Leppard, Kick. Go listen to it. It is really, really good.